Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a parallel coordinate plot using SPSS. I'll be using SPSS 26. Uh, it's a diagram that would look something like uh, this in the end, so we're going to create this one. Um, and with this you can actually see how people changed depending on the variable. So this purplish one went from a score of 4 to 1 to 5 to nine so if you see for example here a lot of them are actually dropping while here a lot of them are going up so it seems like horror was selected uh, less preferred by most uh, the data that I'll be using looks like this um, and um, they were great for different genres on a scale of 1 to 10 now the way to do this is to go for graphs and then select graph board template chooser then I'll reset everything. Uh, select the variables that you want to see and one of the options should be then parallel and then simply click on OK. Now that gives you, let me put that into view for you, uh, this diagram up here. Notice that it changes the scales per item which is not what we want in this example so you can double click on this which gets you to the graph board editor and then click on the scale and simply go to scale here and change the minimum to, well in my case, let's say zero. Then press tab on the keyboard so it actually changes. Uh, this one is already correct. This one I can also change to uh, zero and then tap again. And this one also to zero and then tap again. And that should be it. You can close the graph board editor and it will automatically keep the changes in your uh, output. So here we can see the same diagram again. Now all the scales are the same. And that's how you can create a parallel plot diagram, which could be useful sometimes for uh, uh, repeated measures. Uh, you could play around with the order of these to see if that has some visual uh, additional benefits. But um, this was just a video on how to actually create the diagram. 